I'm going to be first reading the testimony of a client <coughs> of Earth Justice. His name is Bill Freeze of Michigan. Um, should I spell his name for the record? I'll be submitting his Please. testimony. Um, William, the traditional spelling, last name Freeze, F is in print, R E E S E. He was unable to make it under the short notice and for health obligations that he had to attend to in Michigan. My name is William Freeze, and I am the director of the Huron Environmental Activist League. I live in Alpena, Michigan. For over 76 years, I have lived, except for time in the military in the early 50s, from one to five miles away from the largest 100 plus year old cement plant in North America. Since 1991, we have been fighting to end the pollution from this plant. Not only is it one of the largest, but according to a recent US EPA toxic release inventory, it is the dirtiest such facility by point source pollution in North America. A FOIA that we have obtained compared the city of Alpena to the city of Detroit for criteria pollutants. For three out of four, nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, PM 2.5 or soot, and VOCs, the city of Alpena had higher levels of the first three than the city of Detroit. I'm just reading an excerpt of his um, remarks and I'll provide the rest of them to you. A Rutgers University study of blood in 18 of 24 Alpena residents living near the Lafarge cement kilns found that lead in their blood could be traced 75% of the time back to the Lafarge cement kiln dust. Core soil testing by a team of scientists found that the heavy metals were in the top two centimeters of the soil and were not naturally occurring, but were from air but were airborne from cement plant emissions and fugitive dust. The dioxin, or Agent Orange dioxin, was found in some of these samples. That could be the reason for the large number of diabetics in Alpena. The lead scientist stated that if he lived here, he would not eat anything grown in our soil. Another large concern is the 450,000 tons per year of toxic Canadian coal fly ash, which is another form of Canadian garbage coming to Michigan. The ash is responsible for over 50% of the mercury emissions from Lafarge, and 96% of that mercury is the most toxic form that will be found in combustion stacks, the oxidized, divalent, and ionic form of mercury. And it is responsible for Lafarge being one of the highest mercury emitters in the state 